10 Best Places to Visit in Tanzania Hello Displorers, welcome to another exciting video presented to you by Displore. In this video, we shall be taking you to East Africa to show you the 10 best places to visit in Tanzania. Officially the United Republic of Tanzania, it is a country in East Africa within the African Great Lakes region. It borders Uganda to the north, Kenya to the northeast, Comoro Islands and the Indian Ocean to the east, Mozambique and Malawi to the south. Zambia to the southwest and Rwanda, Burundi and Democratic Republic of the Congo to the west. Over a hundred different languages are spoken in Tanzania, making it the most linguistically diverse country in East Africa. The country does not have a de jure official language, although the national language is Swahili. This language is used parliamentarily in debates, in the lower courts and as a medium of instruction in primary schools. English is used in foreign trade, diplomacy, in higher courts and as a medium of instruction in secondary and higher education. Although the Tanzanian government is planning to discontinue English as a language of instruction altogether. Approximately 10% of Tanzanians speak Swahili as a first language and up to 90% speak it as a second language. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Travel and tourism has become an impactful part of the Tanzanian economy and it contributed 17.5 of Tanzania's gross domestic product of $61.032 billion and employed 11.0% of the country's labor force, creating about 1.3 million jobs. Overall receipts rose from $1.74 billion US dollars in 2004 to $4.48 billion US dollars in 2013, and receipts from international tourists rose from $1.255 billion US dollars in 2010 to $2 billion US dollars in 2016. In the same year, about 1.3 million tourists arrived at Tanzania's borders compared to 590,000 in 2005. Number 10. Selos Game Reserve Selos is the largest game reserve in Africa, established in 1922, and covers 5% of Tanzania's total area. The southern area is a forbidden zone that is undeveloped, heavily forested and contains a series of steep cliffs. Travelers are limited to the area north of the Rufiji River. This area of Selos Game Reserve has a large open grassland, woodland, rivers, hills and plains. The best time to visit is July through October. The Rufiji River bisects the Selos Game Reserve and has the largest catchment area of any river in East Africa. The river is an important feature of the reserve, providing the opportunity to watch the diverse water-based wildlife. A broad range of wildlife can be found including elephants, hippos and rhinos as well as buffaloes antelopes, giraffes, warthog, wild beasts, lions, leopards, and cheetahs. The diversity of bird life in the Selos includes over 350 recorded species. Number 9. Ngorongoro Conservation Area Located between the Serengeti and Lake Manyara, the Ngorongoro Conservation Area is home to the famous volcanic Ngorongoro Crater and is one of Tanzania's most popular wildlife viewing areas. This huge volcanic crater has a permanent supply of water, which draws thousands of animals who stay in this area rather than migrating. Visitors come here primarily for viewing large animals and bird watching. Thousands of animals can be seen on the crater floor, including lions, elephants, rhinos, thompsons, gazelles, and buffaloes. But wild beasts and zebras account for over half of the animals that call the Ngorongoro crater home. Bird watching is superb, especially around Lake Migadi which attracts flocks of flamingos to the shallows. Hippos are content to submerge themselves during the day and then graze in the nearby grass in the evening. The Ngorongoro crater is the largest intact ancient caldera in the world, nearly 3 million years old. The Ngorongoro volcano was one of the world's tallest mountains before it exploded and collapsed. Number 8. Serengeti National Park Serengeti National Park is a vast treeless plain with millions of animals living here or passing through in search of fresh grasslands. It is most famous for the annual wild beast migration, but you can also see the big five here. And nearly 500 species of birds have been recorded on the Serengeti. As the second largest national park in Tanzania, the Serengeti attracts tens of thousands of tourists each year. The best months of wildlife viewing in Serengeti National Park are between December and June. The wet season is from March to May, with the coldest period from June to October. The annual migration of over 1.5 million wild beasts and hundreds of thousands of zebras and gazelles take place in May or early June. 
This migration is one of the most impressive natural events and a primary draw for many tourists. Number 7. Darangire National Park Darangire is a popular day trip for those following a standard northern safari itinerary. But its baobab dotted landscape and numerous dry riverbeds are worth much more time. During the dry season from August to October, Tarangire has one of the highest concentrations of wildlife in Tanzania. It is an excellent spot for those who love watching elephants, zebras, giraffes, impala and wildebeest. Tarangire is a good place to enjoy walking safaris and an excellent birding destination. Be prepared to swat tsetse flies here. At certain times of the year, they can get annoying. Accommodations in Tarangire are very affordable and include lodges, campsites and luxury tented camps. Number 6. Mafia Island Further south lays the idyllic island of Mafia, a touch more sophisticated and exclusive than Zanzibar, but without the Mnemba price tag. This is an exciting coconut-covered island to visit. The beaches are superb and its mangroves and marine park ensure that the marine life is beautiful and the underwater safari experience far superior to Zanzibar or Pemba. More out of the way and a little harder to reach, Mafia is a place for adventurous travelers and diving connoisseurs. The star underwater attraction is the docile and completely harmless whale sharks that frequent the island's waters between October and March each year. Number 5. Zanzibar Zanzibar is an exotic island kingdom of former slave traders and fishermen which has reinvented itself as a tourism hotspot. It oozes culture and history in Stone Town which is seemingly at odds with its idyllic geography of white sand beaches and coconut palms swaying lazily in the sea breeze. But it is precisely this diversity which makes Zanzibar such an attractive and varied island to explore and above and below the water, as well as a dream designation for simply relaxing and recharging. For those with deep pockets and a healthy budget, nothing beats the exclusive satellite islands of Nemba off the northeastern tip of Zanzibar. With one exclusive and beyond lodge, Nemba is the very pinnacle of tropical island beach chic luxury. For the rest of us mere mortals, there is a dizzying array of around 800 hotels, beach resorts, guest houses and other accommodation options to choose between on the main island. It almost goes without saying, this is not a place you should come if you don't want to see other tourists at this destination, because this destination always has a full house. Number 4. Unguja Looking for a picture-perfect place to visit in Tanzania, then Unguja should be on top of your bucket list. Unguja has aquamarine waters made up of soft sands and immersive Swahili markets. Once trodden by sultans and British imperialists, the capital of Stone Town here bursts with coral stone forts, Persian palaces and European front spaces. And then there are the beaches, from seaweed spattered Kendwa to whiter than white Nungui and its salted washed bungalows on the shore. This little isle in the Indian Ocean really did earn its place as a byword for tropical perfection. Number 3. Raha National Park In 2008, Raha National Park became Tanzania's largest park. It is home to large herds of buffaloes and gazelles and has one of the largest concentrations of elephants in Tanzania. The Great Raha River is the main feature of Raha National Park, providing magnificent wildlife viewing on the banks. The river also provides much of the electricity to Tanzania through a hydroelectric dam at Kidatu. Raha National Park is the least accessible park in Tanzania and as a result, the landscape remains relatively untouched. Birdwatchers can enjoy over 400 species of birds that are not found in northern Tanzania and the river, spectacular gorges and majestic trees are especially appealing to photographers. Number 2. Stone Town Stone Town is the cultural heart of Zanzibar and little has changed in the last 200 years. The grand old Arabian homes lining the narrow streets and winding alleys give the city its own unique charm. The majority of homes in Stone Town were built in the 19th century when Zanzibar was one of the most important Swahili trading towns in the Indian Ocean. Visitors will notice the brass studded, intricately carved wooden doors on many of the houses. As the world's oldest functioning Swahili city, many of the landmarks in Stone Town have been restored to their original glory. Some of the historic buildings are now museums and tourist attractions. The town also has a couple of interesting old churches of historical significance. A walk along Creek Road takes visitors to the original Stone Town area 
and the location of the Darajani Market, Bait El Amani City Hall, and the Anglican Cathedral. Some of the other key highlights include the Forodani Gardens, the old dispensary with its carved wooden balconies, the former home of the sultans known as Beit El Zahel or the People's Palace, the Hamamni Persian Baths built in 1888, and the oldest structure in Stone Town, the Old Fort. Number 1. Mount Kilimanjaro Mount Kilimanjaro is Africa's highest peak at 5,895 meters and Tanzania's most iconic image. Mount Kilimanjaro National Park, unlike other parks in northern Tanzania, is not visited for the wildlife but for the chances to stand in awe of this beautiful snow-capped mountain and for many to climb to the summit. This mountain can be climbed at any time, although the best period is from late June to October during the dry season. Kilimanjaro, a world heritage site, was formed over 1 million years ago by volcanic movement along the Rift Valley. Three volcanic cones, Shira, Kibo and Mawenzi, came to be about 750,000 years ago. The highest point is Huru Peak on Kibo, which is one of the seven summits of the world. The mountain rises from farmlands on the lower level to rainforest and alpine meadow and then barren lunar landscapes at the peaks. The slopes of rainforest are home to buffaloes, leopards, monkeys, elephants and airland. The alpine zone is where bird watchers will find an abundance of birds of prey. There you have it, explorers. Those were the 10 best places to visit in Tanzania. Thanks for watching this video. If you want us to cover any of the top 10 topics, leave a suggestion in the comment and we will do well to grant your request. Also, if you did enjoy this video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.